All right, welcome back to another fire extinguisher video. So today, this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Amorex model B410, two and a half pound dry chemical fire extinguisher. So as you can see right away, this is a BC rated fire extinguisher, but this is a purple K. This is not a sodium bicarb or monomonium phosphate ABC type fire extinguisher. So this this is a special kind of extinguisher. It uses a potassium bicarbonate base. And this can be commonly be found in places this type of fire extinguisher can commonly be found in places where there's going to be a lot of flammable liquids. Because purple K the only goal of, the only goal in life for purple K is to absolutely destroy a flammable liquid fires and that's what it's designed for. It's Pretty much is, it's an alternative to regular dry chemical. So it comes with its mount, it comes with a mounting bracket. And here is the extinguisher itself, up close. So here's the pressure gauge. Get it to focus right. Let me take a second here. Let's focus on, okay, there we go. So it just says use with dry chemical only, and it's pressurized to 195 PSI. That's exactly about where it's at. So there's some instructions, it's maintenance and all that. Nothing too fancy. So mine, this one, mine's made in 2019, this particular extinguisher, so it's just a couple years old. I'm sure it's plenty ready for testing. So this has a UL rating classification of 10 BC, which that means 10 square feet. This extinguisher can extinguish 10 square feet of class B material and is non-conductive. This does not conduct electricity back out the operator, so you won't get an electrical shocking surprise. So this, this one's made by Amorex. They make some of the best fire extinguishers out there. The thing I absolutely love about it. There's literally no plastic on here. The only plastic that's on here is the tamper seal. That's it. And then the the pin holder is actually made of nylon. But otherwise, the only plastic that's ever found on one of these is the oops, the tamper seal. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys. Okay. So. So a rating of 10B. So 10 square feet of fire. Gonna compare it. Kind of, I'm just gonna compare it to another clone. This is the ABC version. Literally the exact same extinguisher, same resemblance. They're all related. But this one, since this is monomonium phosphate, it can tackle Class A. It's one and a quarter gallons of water equivalent for tackling A fires. But again, it tackles. The same B rating, so it, it this can do 10 square feet of fire as well. <clears throat> so Amorex also makes this size extinguisher in regular dry chemical with the sodium bicarb, which has a UL rating of 10 BC. I don't have one of those to compare it to, but you get the idea. These particular two and a half pound extinguishers put out class, they can put out 10 square feet of class B. It's all literally the same given that they're at the right pressure, <clears throat> as long as they're within the operating pressure, like this, they will work. All right, so I've always been wondering, I always wondered how well Purple K does on a fire, so I will be going out and testing this out. So it does, from what I've heard, Purple K is a little bit more expensive and I'm sure it can be because it's it's a different kind of a it's not your typical go-to agent for most applications. But if you're if you're in an industrial environment and you're dealing with a lot of class B materials and you're looking for something besides sodium bicarb or if you're looking for something besides monomine phosphate, purple K is the way to go. They make this in the two and a half pound, like what I've got here. They make this in a five pound unit, and they also make this in the big twenty pound. And I have the feel I from what I've seen, there are different versions of it. There's a high flow, fast flow model. So there's there's more of them. So it's not just only select few of these. 
So, and as I just literally said, I threw myself off. I'm going to take this out and we're going to test this on a Class B rated fire. So, be right back. All right, we're all set up outside. So, let me go ahead and give the explanation. So off to the left, right about there, I got four pans, just four aluminum foil pans with a little bit of gasoline in them. So I'm gonna light all four of them, let the fire burn for a little bit, and then I will attempt to extinguish the fire with the extinguisher. So off to the very right, that's the extinguisher. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start off from that distance and I will walk my way closer to the fire. So that being said, it's time for the test. Because I take because I take safety very seriously, I have a fully charged five pound ABC rated dry chemical fire extinguisher at the ready. So if anything if anything goes horribly wrong, I'm gonna come get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the fire going and I will also to make this video a little bit better I'm going to while I'm extinguishing the fire I'm going to record with from my phone so I'll give you guys a, a view of what it's like standing behind the extinguisher as it's going off all right let me get the fire get that fire going Got some fire. All right, well, that's pre-burning. Whoa. <laughs> so to take the tamper seal off, I've seen place, I've seen videos where it's like, oh, I can't take the seal. Yeah. Just an easy, it's just an easy swift pull. Maybe. Or a twist. There. I usually like to twist it because it's a lot easier. Oh, the fire's going out. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fire's definitely out. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do too bad. That's what's left over. Okay, I think I stood just a little bit too close to it. <sighs> Look at the sky. <laughs> okay, I gotta give you guys a close up. This thing actually literally blew away the pans. One's tucked underneath that wood there, and then the other three are way over there. Wow. That uh, should be okay here. Oh, there's nothing left of that one. Yeah, that's that's the aftermath right there. And yeah, I think it's also safe to say class B fires get really hot. Okay, well. Now that's now that the fire is out. Just a little bit of a smoky smoldery mess. This extinguisher works pretty good. So there's, there's, it's got that little bit of the purple pit, that's the purple tint, hence the name for purple K. They give this the, they give this a purple K, or sorry, a purple tint to distinguish this from other agents. So that's what it looks like. So 
So does the extinguisher work? Oh yeah. I think it worked just a little bit too well there. <laughs> okay, well anyway, I think I guess that'll be it for now. So this this extinguisher does pass my inspection. If you're looking for a good class B rated type fire extinguisher and you're looking for something that's just really seriously designed for it, then go with a purple K. These are a little bit more expensive, especially recharging wise, but as you see, it did what it was supposed to. <laughs> all right, so that'll be it for now. So thank you all for watching. All right, well, after that quick fiasco, I had totally spaced to, I was going to record with my phone. So I actually do have just a little bit of fuel left. So I'll give you guys a, I highly doubt this is gonna blow away. So I'm gonna give you guys just a little bit of a, just a, a short demo here. So just so you guys can see what it's like from here. Yeah, these things are messy. <laughs> Still got plenty left. How about one more? I think it'll light one more time just for just for good measure. Here we go. Yeah, these things. And that's also the importance of why you're supposed to stand back the set on the instructions. So on the instructions, that's the reason why you're supposed to stand back so far. And then as the fire starts getting extinguished, that's when you move in. If you're, oops, if you're way too close, then you do risk blowing some stuff away like the pants so that's gonna go float away all right so this will be the end of the video so thank you all for watching